was um, hitting the head by a parking gate, mm-hmm. and I was wondering, do I have a claim or not? Okay, it kind of explain to me this parking gate. How, how, how did that happen? Give me a little well, more details. Well, it was like in a parking lot, and I was walking, and the parking gate just came straight down. It just hit me in the head. Okay. Uh, well, I think you might, assuming that the parking gate malfunctioned or, or they knew that this parking gate malfunctioned, it just had a tendency to come down on its own. Now, if a car was pulling through and the gate had come up and then you were walking you know, behind that car, let's say, uh, and then the gate came down, then I don't think you'd have much of a claim there. But if the company knew about these, these prior gate problems and then it came down on you, then I think, yes, you would have a claim in that instance. Thank you so much. Erlene, for your call tonight, and you mentioned something about does the company know? Mm-hmm. Now, I believe that that's key, right? Whether the person that's that has has some knowledge that there's a problem with something on their property. It is in a lot of instances in property. Uh, you know, if you have a, a rotting tree that looks like the branch mm-hmm. is going to fall, then you, I mean, you would have a responsibility to make sure that you take care of that branch before it falls. Mm-hmm. Uh, but a lot of times, in the kind of the what we do is is right. that business owners have knowledge of their employees, particularly their driving employees, like a trucking company. Uh, If they know that their driver has 11 speeding tickets, multiple license suspensions, uh, maybe even a DUI or a failed drug test, you know, that's the kind of stuff that's the responsibility of the employer. And that's what we try to litigate and prosecute the hardest because those people should not be on the road. And we're trying to protect the general public and, and and the people of Tuscaloosa from being injured by irresponsible employers.